This video was sponsored by Clip Studio Paint. So the new thank you cards have arrived and I just need to round the corners like I usually do but they look so cute, what the heck? These two little flowers and it says I believe in you and on the back it's just our usual. But look how cute these are, what the heck? I always like to do these because I think they're really nice to put into uh, packages and people also can use them as like mini art prints and put them on a wall but I'm actually going to keep one of these because I actually really like this one I'm going to put it on my wall in the catnip cafe I'm making a little TikTok video and I've got this little this is a spare mount that I use by Manfrotto I normally film all my vlogs on these so what I'm filming on right now on this camera is a white one of these and this is another one that I've got this has actually been at Florida and in the pool the swimming pools when I had my GoPro um but luckily it's not rusted or anything but I've now used it for my phone you can get these on just like Amazon or eBay which is really really handy for filming like TikTok videos or Instagram videos and stuff so I just slot it on like that. I normally use the hands-free setting on Instagram to film. And then I just like prop it up and film my, film my little videos. Oh, super bright. My eyes have been blinded by the light outside. Hello guys and welcome to another studio vlog. It's super bright day today. I can't even really see myself on the camera. So sorry if it's a little overexposed. Uh, today I'm working on loads of spring products and I want to design washi tapes in the studio vlog so I'm going to create like kind of spring slash summer florally themed washi tapes because it's been such a long time we're sold out of a lot of washi tapes in the shop and I feel like I want to do just a huge batch of them because we have had like four in the shop here and there and we used to have a lot more than that so I really want to get really restocked up on the washi tapes and do some more new designs with humble but and also with the flowers and also with like a gingham I'm really digging gingham at the minute this dress is so cute by the way it's off face off if anyone cares um, but yeah I'm really digging gingham lately so I want to incorporate that into the washi tape as well I have done some stick 
sticker sheets which I'll show you in a little bit but I have to actually finish some other sticker sheets because I'm finally going to send off for some paper stickers which I said I was going to do weeks ago and didn't get around to doing it so now I'm finally getting around to doing it I actually did a whole vlog on doing the Monday Tuesday Wednesdays I set up my planner and I didn't end up sending them off so I'm going to send them off in the studio vlog so that's what I'm going to do and I'll show you kind of the process and the stickers and see how they turned out we should also get in this studio vlog a package of the new wrapping paper which is like gingham print and then it's got little bees on and daisies and it was a slightly different style to what I usually work with more dark outlines I used to use really light outlines on a lot of my work but I think as I've kind of grown as an illustrator I realized that they didn't stand out as much um, it kind of like all faded into the background and stuff and I'm still a fan of pastels obviously I still use pastels but I think dark outlines really makes the characters pop especially when it's stickers because when I've personally used stickers in my planner I prefer ones with dark outlines that pop on the page so I've started experimenting with a little bit more darker outlines rather than like the blues and the purples and the browns that I used to use so a little bit of an experiment there, just thought I'd share my thought process with you. I'm going to get into the working day and I'll show you kind of what I got up to and show you the sticker sheets that I've currently been working on. The new wrapping paper has arrived, so I'm going to unbox it because I'm super, super excited about this one. Oh my gosh! Oh, heavy! Oh, this might be my favourite wrapping paper that I've done! Oh, the quality is so nice. I was so worried about this. Oh, wow! So this is the new wrapping paper. It's a, like a large sheet. So it's 700 by 500, let me show you. Oh, it's really big. So it's this big. Oh, imagine making a desktop out of this. That would be so good and putting a piece of glass over the top. But we changed the paper to this slightly lighter weight silk paper and the quality is so much better. So the quality of my last paper was beautiful. It was super, super thick and luxurious. But the problem was it was too thick and even me wrapping at Christmas and stuff found it hard to keep the sellotape down because we use like this matte sellotape and so we tried this silk option which is still quite thick it's like not your standard cheap wrapping paper it's still quite a thick paper but it's much easier for the sellotape to adhere to and look how cute the print is what the heck I love it so we'll actually be using this for our packaging over spring and we will also sell it in our Etsy shop. So I think I'm going to um, like wrap something up with it and see what it looks like and maybe add a little cute ribbon. I think I'm going to wrap my mum's Mother's Day present in this actually. Oh my gosh, I love it. It looks so pretty, what the heck? So instead of wasting paper and wasting products and all stuff like that to take photos of these to list on my Etsy, I actually made a bunch of stuff up for my mum for Baby Blue so you can actually purchase these on Baby Blue, my second business, uh, which Dean actually runs. And yeah, this is us, Matthew, Dad, Emily, my mum and then me. And I also have a mug, two and a coaster which is really really nice a ceramic coaster and also one of these ornaments because I needed to take some product photos and I hate wasting things so I thought instead of wasting them for the product photos I would do um, some things that could actually be reused so I'm reusing these from my mum and I'm going to wrap them up and I'm going to wrap them up in catnip so it's like a baby blue catnip collab I'm going to wrap it up in this paper oh my gosh it feels so nice to touch This is a little baby blue logo. These are the U of the logo, so it says baby blue, and then I made it into a smiley face. How cute is that? Pop it on the back of the coaster. 
And we have these little organza bags that these go in. I really love pink and green together. It goes really, really well. They're all wrapped up. I'm actually going to use this opportunity and take photos of these and upload them in my Etsy shop. I was going to wait and do a big spring launch, but I think I'll just upload these now and then do all the stickers as a launch because everything is coming at totally different times and I know a few people have messaged me when these are going to be live, so I'm just going to put them live in my shop now. Mike has just came in and shown me this really satisfying order with the new packaging paper. Look how good this looks. We've got pink boxes, uh, but actually we've run out of these. They're actually white from now on, but uh, it still looks really cute. Look at this. Is that the most perfect puzzle you've ever seen or not? finished making a bunch of new mouse mats up. I did some circle ones and some rectangle ones because we've now got some new rectangle mouse mats in and I've just done three designs in total but done them on either a circle or a rectangle because I know some people prefer to use rectangle mouse mats. I've done one without a gingham print with this cute little bumble bus sleeping just there. Uh, just in case you don't like gingham and I've gone a bit gingham heavy I'm even wearing. I've literally worn gingham every day of this vlog uh, but yeah I'm really happy with them they just look so cute and it just looks so pretty on the desk and I always like to change up my desk depending on the season and just doing things like replacing your mouse mats and stuff can yeah be like that and this is perfect for spring slash summer so I absolutely love them so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some photos and get them listed on my Etsy shop
we get into a new working day, I wanted to say a huge thank you to our sponsors today, Clip Studio Paint. Now I actually heard of Clip Studio Paint a while ago when I was really getting into webtoons and learning how to do web comics. I actually started up my own catnip comics. I also loved the idea that they actually had a 3D model database where you could have like 3D models that you could move around and kind of use them as a guide to trace around and I know a lot of web artists use this or mangakas use this when they're illustrating or drawing a manga or a comic it makes the workflow a lot quicker because comic artists have a lot of cells and a lot of illustrations to actually draw so I actually heard a clip studio pin and today I decided to open it back up and experiment around the brushes and draw a little catnip comic again bring catnip back to life I really really enjoyed playing around with this it feels so much more extensive than other iPad softwares it's for both desktop and iPad which I really really like but I also like the fact that it still has that portability and you can take it on the road with you wherever you may be but it's a lot more extensive than any drawing software that I've actually used on the iPad before it's got so many variables in it and things that you can actually do on it including vector graphics and I really thoroughly enjoyed experimenting and playing around on it so if you're looking for a different type of drawing software to use I would highly recommend Click Studio Paint it is really amazing and really comprehensive there are so many amazing talented artists who use this as a primary drawing or illustration or design tool and I think it's absolutely essential to try out different platforms because you never know when your next software might be the perfect one for you and your style. If you guys want to check it out I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to go and have a play around with the software because you can download a free trial. Another thing that's really cool is that people who apply for the monthly usage plan can get Clip Studio Paint for up to three months for free. Also all devices where Clip Studio is available the functions are the same and the files can be free moved between devices using the Clip Studio Cloud. Thank you so much Clip Studio for sponsoring this segment of the video. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday, it's currently Tuesday at the moment. I've just had a lovely morning coming in, rather than answering emails and doing all that sort of stuff, I just sat down, made myself a cup of coffee and I tried out Clip Studio Paint. So I've really been enjoying kind of coming in and doing a little illustration on the morning, I do it here and there, just to kind of get my mind into it and also I want to try and illustrate more because I've really been letting my admin tasks kind of take over and the thing that I love the most is illustrating. So I drank all my coffee, and yeah now it's time to finally get into the working day and today I want to actually make some washi tapes but first of all I really want to show you this cute package that arrived it's so freaking cute I've been watching tons of TikTok and I've been really fascinated by these Ace Mary unboxing opening ones and I noticed people had these really cute craft knives and I was like oh my gosh I really want to do cute unboxings like that. You know I have been doing unboxings on this channel and for ages of the new products that arrive and stuff. And I was like, hang on a second, I didn't even know these cute craft knives existed. And come and see this, they are so freaking adorable. It's gonna make my unboxing game super kawaii and super strong. So this is them, this is what has arrived. Oh my God, it's so freaking cute. All of these, you could only buy them in packs of 12, I couldn't find them singly, so I've got like 12, which is probably going to last me a very long time. Uh, but basically, look at the yellow! <laughs> That's so cute, what the heck? Oh, high five! <laughs> the little craft knife things, and I think you can sharpen them as well, because you can snap. Can you see where these lines are? Oh, I shouldn't do that, That's not practice safety kids uh, but yeah you can snap these to make it sharp again so just like a craft knife but the class is letter openers or box openers but look how cute these are I can't believe I've just discovered them what the heck look how cute are they high five high freaking five
is literally the cutest thing that I've ever purchased, I think. I don't know why, it makes me feel so happy. It brings me so much joy. Marie Kondo would be so proud. Anyway, I've just finished doing the new washi tape designs and oh my goodness, I think these are my favorite washi tapes that I've ever, ever done. These are literally so cute. It's so amazing how if you practice like over time, you get better and better at designing tapes and also using tapes quite often has gave me kind of the insight to what I would personally like to use in my planner. So first of all, we've got a simple print just like this. I just saw a really simple washi tape for planners, for letters and stuff like that. So not just with my characters on. Then I'm going to send off for a chunky washi tape. This is 22 millimeters and it's got bumblebutt and this matches like the wrapping paper and the mouse mats that I've got. And it's just got bumblebutt and the flowers. It says busy bee on it. Next up we've got a terrazzo washi tape and I thought this would work really well in the planner too. Then we have this little character which was kind of like a little last minute thing and it's basically just like a little grid box and like kind of just inspired by planners really and then it's got these cute little pastel friends on it and actually this one and the cloud one is actually surprisingly one of my favorite ones when i've put them in my planner like this and i would advise anyone to just print them out and test out washi tapes if you're going to design it or if you're going to design anything print it out physically and see what it looks like with all your stuff because as you can see this is my planner that i actually use i've just like wasted a whole spread but whatever it looks cute and it looks so cute in my planner and these are actually my favorite ones yeah that's all the new washi tapes what do you think oh they look so pretty i'm super happy with how they've turned out honestly i love them so so freaking much so i wanted to show you some goodies of you guys and the first thing that we got is this cute little teddy bear look at this it's so small and so so cute from clean arching i think i'm saying that right i'm so sorry and also these really little mini stickers i love little tiny things it makes me so so happy if you want to find her she's just here then we got some beautiful goodies of the lovely rebel jones and she has done she sent me loads of beautiful holographic stickers of these girls and stuff and she actually sent me some goodies a while back and an illustration but look at this oh my gosh she's drawn some girls with our beanies on them so we've got the bee we've got bumblebutt just here we got the strawberry just here and then I love this one. We've got frog and bear just here, but look how cool they look in the beanies and their outfits. And yeah, loads of sticker packs and also an iron on patch. It's so, so cute. And then also an art print too that says dream plan do, which is really cute. And you can find her just here at Rebel Jones or here if you want to take a screenshot. Next up, we've got some cute little goodies from, from Zane's Lament. And they sent loads of little cute stickers and little goodies which look adorable like look at this little panda drinking him some boba tea it's so so cute then we got loads of goodies sent from pintada designs we got some holographic stickers some key rings look how pretty that is we got a notepad of little bumblebees on it and then this cool small my small business little notepad which is really helpful it's like a little planner but look how cute that is and if you want to find it you can find it right here she also does pet portraits illustrations and stationery and then finally we got these really adorable magnets from flibberty giblets I think it's our oh, gibbets, Liberty gibbets, and the little crochet magnets, which are gonna look so, so freaking pretty on my fridge. I'm actually gonna go put them on my fridge right now. And you can find her just here, but these magnets are so cute. Let's go put them on the fridge and see what they look like. So I'm gonna put them on my fridge in the Catney studio. And they're actually handmade in Cornwall. I love these little flower ones, they're so cute. Look how cute these little crochet magnets look. So thank you so, so much for sending them. Oh, they make my fridge look so pretty. Oh, I don't know why I always finish a segment right at the window when I'm getting blinded. I can't even see properly. But thank you so, so much for that. It honestly means the world. I hope you enjoyed this studio vlog. If you made it to the end, put something 
to do with crochet. <laughs> to celebrate those cute adorable magnets that are now on my fridge uh, in the comments below to let me know you made it to the end. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Alright then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>